Hello, welcome to this video. Uh, I wanted to go over what Embed OS 5 is. I've just started a video series on it and I realised that a lot of people might not even know what it is. So I'll try and explain it. It's very simple. Um, usually when you program or code, whatever word you prefer to use, you download like an Arduino um, environment or for Python, your IDE, or your idle, sorry. And it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, usually you code offline. That's the point I'm getting at. You download software and you code offline. Now this means that you have to take that with you wherever you go, or you, ha well, you have to take that um, device wherever you've got those files on. You need to take that device with you, or you need to have multiple devices with the ability to uh, use that program. Now what I like about Embed OS is that you can literally just do it online. You make a quick account, you put in your email, your username, and just a password, like anything. And then you come to this site, so you'd come to um, embed, like this is the site you'd come to. Then you'd go to your embed OS. And as you can see, well, it was just a second ago, you have your compiler. Now when you click on your compiler, you literally get all of your program files. Right now I've only got one, and that's an example code for the board I'm using, which you can learn about in my next, in my previous video. I'll leave a link in the description uh, and how to set everything up. But if I click here, you can see I can go onto my main.cpp file, so that's a C++ file. And you can literally just, so this is my file, and that's stored not on the computer, but on the website. And you can click compile. I haven't got my board on the screen right now, but again, that's in my previous video. And what you would do then is you would go to your... Uh, so obviously when you plug your mic, plug your microcontroller in via USB port on, into your PC or laptop, it would come up as a device. And when you click on that device, you get this. Now you can drag and drop this. As you can see, I've got it. I know you can see it. And then I'm just going to drag and drop that right into this file, this, uh, yes, and then downloads that onto your microcontroller, and that is all you have to do, and now this code is running on said microcontroller. Again, you can see this, I've, you can see this process in my previous video, which I'll link in the description, but that's what it is. So it's just a platform for programming your um, devices. It's really cool as well because there's blogs, there's people asking questions and answers. There's different, I think there's competitions sometimes and different activities and there's a lot of community around it. And I really like it. You can see that in the last seven days there's been 262,000 compilations. Uh, and yeah, and there's documentation. I mean, the document is quite new, so the documentation isn't always amazing, but it's still in development, but really useful. And yeah, I think it's better. I prefer it to Arduino. I think Arduino is good for beginners, but once you want to... Like the boards you can code on this, for example. I mean, I've got that in my previous video, but I'll do quickly. You can add a board. And when you do that, you get all of these available boards that you can import into your program. And for example, I would most likely click on this vendor, the STM Electronics. And this is the board I'm currently using here in the middle, this one. But that doesn't matter. I'd, I'd suggest getting something like this. Or even the smaller ones. Just any of these big ones. Any, any of them boards, really. Any of the nuclear boards are pretty good. Uh, the size obviously depends on how many pins you need. But that's all, really. So I think I've described to you what Embed OS is. And now that you know that, I think you should, it makes sense to sign up. I think it's really useful and yeah, I'm going to be making some videos on how to use all of this and how to use threads and interrupts and how to get the most out of your microcontroller project. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope that was useful and goodbye.